So right now I'm heading out to a spot that I was at last week. Uh, I was out here twice and I had bucks grunting behind me like crazy. And they didn't really get out of their beds until um, like half an hour after dark and I could tell there were some big bucks in there. They started fighting behind me after they got on the mainland. So tonight I'm, I'm paddling out to get behind them, behind the bedding area. The week before I walked from the mainland and only walked about 50 yards in from the mainland into the swamp. So I'm going to try it from getting in behind them and seeing if I can't, uh, can't catch one by surprise. I've scouted most of the area on this side of the marsh and uh, almost every one of these trees up against the shore here have beds with hair in them. The deer love it against there because they feel so safe. So my plan is today is to cuddle up right next to that shoreline against some of those trees up there, hang a stand, and uh, hopefully one will come walking past right at dark.
back out here again. I left my uh, lone wolf sticks in the mud in the dark on my way home. So I gotta on my way out to grab them on a Sunday. Um, so I thought it'd be a good time to do an exit interview because I didn't do one uh, at the end of the hunt because I was out of light. Um, so I had that nice eight pointer come by. Um, just wasn't what I was looking for this early in the season. The last two years I've taken deer just about that same size, so I'm looking to get something with a nice set of antlers, probably like three, four and a half years old, and keep shooting my deer in bow season, so I've been tracking in New Hampshire. So I'd like to, uh, like to start doing some tracking in Maine and figuring out some new spots to hunt, so, um, so I'll let that one go. But yeah, there's a... There's a bigger one around here, I'm sure, in the swamp somewhere. So I'm gonna hold out till I find him and keep bouncing around and hunting new spots until I find one I wanna take. 